This is the second in a sequence of screencasts looking at the use of tables within Word. And we're going to create a table that looks a little bit like this. And the way it's set up is this column is a bit smaller. These two are equal sizes. Uh, the whole table uh, will resize dependent on the size of the paper or the layout of the paper. And the rows are set up in a way that when you type in them, they don't automatically expand until they need to. So let me go through and show you how to create all of that. So if I scroll down, so here I've created uh, a basic table and all I've done to do that is I've gone insert table and then I've chosen the size that I want. OK, so in this case, I want four rows and three columns. And that's all I did um, to create that. I won't actually create it at the moment because I've got one there that I created earlier. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change the way that the rows work. Now I mentioned in the introduction that what a lot of people will do is they'll come in here and they'll press enter a couple of times to make the rows the right size. But there's a better way. Rather than doing that, I'm going to highlight the rows that I want. I'm then going to right click and I'm going to go to table properties. I'm then going to go to the row tab and under size, I'm going to specify a height. And I'm going to type in 2.5 uh, centimetres and click on OK. So what's happened now is it's made the, the table size what I want. But the beauty is, is when we start to fill this in, it doesn't automatically expand until I need it to expand. When I get to the bottom of the table, it will then start to expand. But up until then, it won't do. So it's a much easier way of managing the table. The next thing I want to do is to uh, change the... Uh, the way that the table positions itself on the page so that it's uh, not dependent on the size of the page. So I'm going to click on that little cross that appears at the top, which selects the whole table. I'm going to right click and again go to table properties. And this time I'm going to go to the table option. Now where it says size, I'm going to tick the box that says preferred width. Now at the moment it's measuring in centimeters. If I click on that down arrow, I can change that to percent. And then I can make this number uh, 100, which means it'll go for the, the, the full width of the page. Or I could have chosen another number like 75 or 50 or whatever, but I'm going to go for 100. You won't see a difference at the moment in the size of the table. But if I did go to page layout and orientation and landscape, you then see the difference because it will resize with the paper. OK, that's the difference. So it's worth doing. OK, it's a simple thing. but It's well worth doing. So now that we've got our table looking nearly the right size I'm just going to make this column a little bit narrower because we don't need that much space for these headings and it gives me more room for people to write their answers in I'm then going to select these two columns and again right click table properties sorry right click and um, distribute columns evenly we'll make will realign these so that they're the same size. So it's much quicker than trying to manually do it and working on sort of our, our vision. These headings here, if I wanted to, I could select them, right click, table properties, and go to cell, and I could center the information within them. So it's centered uh, in the vertical plane. I can also use the center option under paragraph to center it within the column so I can do that sort of thing and if I want to I can change the borders so right click borders and shading I'm going to change it to grid and that will allow me to change the outside um, to something different so I'm going to go to two and a quarter so let's put a two and a quarter inch border uh, sorry two and a quarter point border around the edge uh, with the inside being normal click on OK and that works like that. Okay. Final thing, um, I'm just going to centre the information uh, in those columns. So some simple techniques. Uh, it's taken me less than five minutes to take a simple table and just make it a little bit more attractive, a little bit easier to use, uh, and slightly more adaptable to be used in different circumstances.